I'm Khalid Raza. I'm the founder and CEO of Graphient. So I'm going to date myself. Starting from 1999, as voice networks started to separate from traditional PSTN into voice over IP, people started to merge data and voice networks over IP. That drove the innovation of MPLS. 1999, MPLS was a $0 market and transitioned into a $40 billion dollar market by 2009-2010. The next transition I started to see was the SD-WAN market. The driver for SD-WAN was the data volumes were higher, so people wanted to get commodity bandwidth for data, and they still kept their MPLS for voice and unified communication. So you have two distinct markets, MPLS and SD-WAN, but their combined is about $58 billion dollar market. We are at a very, very interesting phase where I feel MPLS, SD-WAN, all other uh, uh, technologies like uh, SDCI, Cloud Interconnects, techn technologies like Enhanced Internet are going to consolidate. MPLS is perfect for any to any connectivity, but MPLS is restricted to a service provider infrastructure. It's private, it gives you SLAs, but you're restricted to what service provider can give you and offer you, and they control your policies. SD-WAN gave you the ability to have your own policy control, but SD-WAN was pretty much, if you look at it, started in 2013-14, when cloud was not as pervasive. So you build the commodity last mile based connectivity where you as a customer got your policy back, but your topologies were fixed. Now you, we are entering into the next phase where the connectivity is unpredictable. You have multiple colos, multiple cloud, multiple cloud regions, multiple data centers, and soon edge compute. So the elasticity and expandability of the network are so critical for digital transformation. And that's where you ne need best of both worlds. The scale of MPLS and agility of SD-WAN. We're entering a phase of an unpredictable topologies, which is going to just continue to grow with the ex extensions of the new business models. So it's time that we innovate and solve the problem for the next two decades. By 2017, it started to become very clear to me that the expandability of the cloud requires the network to be much, much more agile and elastic. And edge compute waiting at the horizon absolutely need network to be a lot more elastic than be able to connect to six con uh, regions or six sites to 600 sites in a meshed environment. So if you have to solve this problem, you have to get two things right. The network has to be private and it has to be delivered as a service. So from private network's perspective, it's more secure, it's SLA based, you have more higher reliability and you have guaranteed delivery. And what was the best thing about cloud? Expandability and agility. I grew on demand. When I needed it, I consumed it. What cloud did to compute, Graphian wants to do to networking. Don't build, consume. We will grow with you and you grow based on what your business requirements are, not what your topologies requires to do. And I think the industry is ready for the change, the infrastructure is ripe for the change, and customers are looking for the change. When you look at customers' wide area bills, from Uber financials, $150 million to $250 million a year, we can provide you through innovation up to 64% of cost savings. That's a serious benefit to your bottom line. So any customers I'm talking to, they see two huge benefits of Graphian. Significant cost savings, simplicity and agility. So our message is resonating from the customers. I don't have to build. I don't need to have a model where I need to operationalize these complex networks. I can consume this as a service and provide services to my customer. On top of it, I get up to 64% of cost savings on my wide area bill, which is predictable. So the cost savings is coming from, you look at what is happening from cloud perspective. Cloud is perfect for compute. If you look at co-location facilities, they're perfect for transit. But what is needed is best of both worlds. When you build networks, all the policies are in the cloud where I have tremendous amount of compute. All the performance is in the colos where I provide high capacity transit. 
On top of it, the commoditization of the hardware is giving me that ability to build these networks at a much lower cost. So bandwidth is commoditized, compute is commoditized, performance is commoditized, and that's what Graphiant is doing. Innovation will always save you cost. As I told you earlier, MPLS innovation saved you cost, but gave you benefits of connectivity. SD-WAN saved you cost from MPLS, but didn't give you the flexibility. What Graphiant is doing is we're gonna create best of all worlds. We'll give you commoditized bandwidth, we'll give you over private infrastructure with scalable architecture. 